Hey everybody, welcome to Franny's Hair. Today I have five Noriko styles for you and I was feeling like getting ready for the holidays. I always get so excited for the holidays. So you see I have a little bit more bling on today. So stay tuned. Okay, so before I get started, I just want to let you know what's happening at Franny'sHair.com. First of all, we have a huge amount of deals going on right now. Head on over, check it out. So many things on sale, including the Noriko wigs that I'm going to show you. They are 30% off right now. I will tell you the prices they are as I show them to you. Also, come over to Franny's Hair, our private Facebook group. We are having so much fun. Everybody's showing their pictures in wigs and sharing advice, tips, and tricks. And it's just a really great place to get support on your wig journey. And don't forget, we have V, our resident stylist, who is there to help you choose a wig, help you style a wig, whatever you need. She does free one-on-one -on -one video consultations and you can actually schedule a consultation with her by emailing her. I'm going to put her email right here so you can do that and you will not regret it. She is so knowledgeable and so helpful. Finally, don't forget, I'm on Instagram now too. We're just getting that up and running, but we're doing posts over there as well. Okay, so let's get started with these wigs. Okay, first I need to apologize. It seems like everybody is cleaning up their lawns today. So if you hear a lot of noise and machinery, that's what's happening. I'm gonna to try to drown it out a little bit when I edit the video, but it's very loud, at least to me. All right, so let's start with this wig. This is Skye, and she's in the color Copper Glaze Rooted. And Skye is a basic cap wig. She's described as a short length synthetic wig. This straight ready to wear wig is one of our popular styles and best sellers from the Noriko collection. Skye is our flattering bob style. That's interesting. I don't know if I'd call it a bob. Well, maybe if I put that down with feathered layers and wispy ends. The thinned fringe to the razored wispy ends and voluminous bob style is the reason why it's one of the top sellers. Sky is machine made with adjustable tabs in the back nape area to allow a more comfortable fit. And she's also available in a partial monofilament and large cap, so that's good to know as well. So let's take a look at this color. It's copper glaze rooted, which I think is great for this time of year. I absolutely love this. And the color copper glaze rooted is described as shadowed roots on bronze brown with light dark rust highlights. So you can definitely see the rooting there, which is great because it's a basic cap. So it helps to hide the fact that you can't see the part. And this color is just gorgeous. You can see the highlighting there. I really like it. And you can see it does have the wispy layers. I guess that's why I didn't think of it as a bob. I always think of the bob, you know, being the same length. But let me tell you the measurements and then I'm going to spin for you. Okay, her crown, 5.1 inches. The nape, 3.5 inches. The fringe, 5.5 inches. So that's a pretty long fringe there. So if you wanted to wear bangs, which you could, it'd be really cute. I'd have to snip them a little. But look at that, bangs behind the ears. Oh my goodness, I love this. Uh, and the weight is only 2.79 ounces. As far as density goes, I would say this is a medium density and there's definitely permatease to hide the wefting, but it adds to the shape as well. So let me just give it a spin. I'll pull it all out so you can see it. So cute. And like I said, there's so much you could do just by simply putting it behind your ears, maybe putting down the bangs. Oh, so adorable. Okay. Let me uh, tell you about the price. She is normally $243. She's on sale right now for $144.90. So let me try on the glasses. I got a comment that somebody said, oh, I really like the East Coast vibe. I moved to the West Coast. And it's so funny um, 
that you can really pick up the accents on people. And I noticed them more because I lived in New Jersey for a period of time and New York in a period of time. And every time I came home to Pennsylvania and I heard somebody with the Pennsylvania accent, I was like, oh, I'm home. <laughs> so it's just so interesting. I love getting these comments. Okay, so the glasses under, I feel it. I don't know that it would bother me though. Um, it doesn't feel bad. And over the ear tabs, I don't feel it at all. So I don't know if you saw my post of Orchid in the new color Gradient Storm by um, Aesthetica. V had commented on one of my videos that, yeah, it's great that you show colors in the studio lighting and you show it in the sun outside, but most of us aren't spending our time in either of those places. So I decided to post pictures of myself in all different lighting. So what I'm going to do for you today is with the colors I'm showing, I'm going to on the way out the door, I'm just going to show it to you in all different lighting so that you'll get an idea of the color. And hopefully it's a better idea because you see it in all different lightings. So I hope you like that. All right, let's go take a tour through the house. Take a look at the cap. As I said, it's a basic cap. So just a basic front here. You can see there's permatease in here and that's what hides the wefting and gives it its shape. You have fabric ear tabs, kind of hard to see because it's black, with hair spliced in there, an extended nape, uh, the bra strap closures that you could just pull and open wefting. Okay, so that is Sky in Copper Glazed Rooted. Okay, before I get to this wig, I forgot to mention my circumference is 21 and a half inches. My face from forehead to chin is eight and a half inches. So that just gives you an idea of how things are fitting me. Now, Noriko is known for having smaller caps. And the last wig I tried on, the sky was snug fitting when I put it on and there was not a lot of room to go larger. I'm going to say, unless I specifically say to you, oh, this one goes larger, this is not for you ladies with large heads. Noriko is not the brand for you. There are brands that are better. Aesthetica, for example, runs larger. Tress Allure, um, even Raquel Welsh and Beltress you get more room there, not with the Noriko so far. So I just wanted to let you know that. All right, this is Seville and she's in creamy toffee rooted. Wow. And now these are right out of the box and I really don't even know which wigs I'm gonna show you. I took the top five off the pile. So it's as much a surprise to me as it is to you. And I took this out and I was like, this is so pretty. Right out of the box, she has a little box hair here and that's the reality when you get wigs, sometimes you get box hair and you can usually fix that with a little bit of steaming, even if it's not a heat friendly wig, but you've got to be careful and make sure that you follow a tutorial, maybe from one of the brands that show you how to steam. And uh, also V is very experienced with that type of stuff as well. So you can reach out to her for some advice. Oh. I almost forgot to mention, also on the private Facebook group, Franny's Hair, we do have some group experts as well as V that are there to help answer your questions. We have Marlene, and I'm sure many of you are familiar with Marlene. She has her own channel called Marlene's Wig and Chat Studio. She's so knowledgeable. She's been wearing wigs and reviewing wigs for a long time, so she'll answer questions there. We have Sherry Scott, who has worked with Marlene in the past, and she really knows a lot. And we have Colleen Todd as well, who is very knowledgeable in how to style wigs and all, all things wigs. So come on over and take advantage of all of these great resources. Okay, back to this wig. <laughs> so this is Seville, and I don't know if I mentioned it, but she is also a basic cap wig. She normally sells for $306 and she's $182 right now. And she's described as a mid-length synthetic wig. Now, I don't know if you consider this mid-length. I consider it longer than mid-length, but I notice 
that wigs seem shorter on the stock photos than they do on me. I don't know if I have a short neck or what's going on there, but they seem longer on me. So again, go by my measurements and your measurements to try to determine how long the wig will be for you. And that's why I give you the measurements of the wig. So uh, it says this straight ready to wear wig is classic style featuring a subtle A-line perimeter. So let's look. I don't know if you can see the A-line there. Subtle. <laughs> and square layers with full wispy bangs. So these are the wispy bangs. And if I put it down, again, they're longer. I would need to snip them a little bit. Uh, but it's good that they're there because you have just a basic cap, so that is a pretty harsh line there. And that's what's great about having these wispy bangs. Even if you don't wear them all the way across, you can kind of brush them to the side, but it hides that fact. There's no monofilament, but you have the rooting here to help with that as well. This wig flatters women of all ages. Not only can you wear this wig straight, if you want to change your look, you can style the wig into a low ponytail. Hmm. That would be cute. Seville is machine made with adjustable tabs in the back nape area to allow a more comfortable fit. Okay, and let's look at her measurements. Her crown is 10.6 inches. The nape, 9.8 inches. I hope you can see that all there. The fringe, 5.1. So as I said, it is longer if you want to wear your bangs down, you will need to snip that unless you have a really long forehead. And she weighs 5.43 ounces. And I wouldn't say she feels heavy. Density wise, I'm going to say she's medium. She definitely has permatees up here, again, to hide the wefting and to give it the shape. And let's talk about the color. Creamy Toffee Rooted. Creamy Toffee Rooted is described as shadowed roots on spring honey. 50-50 light gold blonde. Okay, so I guess it's 50% spring honey, 50% light gold blonde. So you can see that there. It's just a really pretty warm color. So, and I'll take it all through the house again, but this, there's no doubt that this is a warm color. And there's the rooting you can see there. All right, let me try it on with the glasses, then we're gonna take a walk. Oh, I didn't spin for you. Let me spin for you. <laughs> I'm losing track here. I love the ends, how they kind of flip out there. Really adorable. Maybe I'll wear this one today to lunch. I just got to fix the uh, box hair bang. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to try on the glasses for you. Under the ear tabs, I feel it. Over the ear tabs, no, nah, not at all. You could definitely wear it over the ear tabs. Okay, and this before I even go outside, this has possibilities for styling, definitely. You know, pull back both sides. Like it said, the low ponytail. And you could even take the low ponytail and make it into like a little knot down here. You know, like a cute little, like that. I'm starting to play with my wigs more. So many people are really good at styling it. And I really want to work on my styling. So, all right, let's take a walk through the house. Okay, starting from the studio lighting, we're gonna walk out. Kind of messed it up when I was styling it. And here we go. We're gonna go out into the hallway. Here it is dark in the hallway. And it's looking shiny around here. And it is a shinier wig. You'd probably wanna so do a cold soak or some dry shampoo if you don't like to shine. Although, now I'm seeing all these women with their regular bio hair trying to make it as shiny as possible and putting glazes on their hair. So shiny wigs could be in style. If you hear music, my husband's working in his workshop. Okay, here we are, lighted kitchen. There we go. And we're gonna take it outside. And you can tell me if you think this is helpful or just boring that I'm walking around wearing a wig. <laughs> okay, so here we are. I'm just going to spin for you. Sun behind. Just going all the way around. See if you can see it. 
I hope I'm not making you dizzy also. And then in the shade, getting my exercise. Lately, this is the extent of my exercise. <laughs> okay, here we are in the shade. So I hope that gives you an idea. Whew, I wasn't kidding. That is my exercise. I am out of shape. I got to get to work on this. Anyway, I am really loving this style. I think it's so feminine. Every time I look at it, I'm like, Ooh, I like that. All right, let's take a look at the cat. Okay, so there you go. Basic cap, permatease, as I said, fabric ear tab with the hair spliced in, open wefting, extended nape, and the bra hook closures. And you can see, not much room to make it bigger. And this was snug on me. Okay, so that's Seville and Creamy Toffee Rooted. On to the next. Okay, this next one I've been dying to try. This is Reese. I've seen it. I know it's my style. I love it. Uh, it kind of reminds me of Zeal a little bit too, and I know that's been very popular, especially in that lilac silver color. This, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, is snug. However, it does come in a large cap size. So when they come in large cap, then I can say to you ladies with larger heads, you can probably try this. I don't have the larger cap to try on. I can tell you if you have a larger head, the regular size is not going to fit you. All right, so Reese normally sells for $240. She's $142.80 right now. And this is in the color Chocolate Frost Rooted. Let's first talk about Reese. She is a short length synthetic wig, straight, ready to wear wig, one of our popular styles and best sellers. Reese is a sassy bob. We have a different idea of what a bob is, apparently. To me, this is shaggy, but they call it a bob. Uh, with tussled layers and edgy fringe, that's true. And she's machine made with adjustable tabs in the nape area to allow for a comfortable fit. So again, a synthetic, she's not heat friendly and she's a basic cap. The crown is 5.9 inches. The nape, 3.9. The fringe, five inches. And I really do like that they make their fringe longer so that any size forehead can trim it to fit their forehead. Sometimes when they're three and a half inches, some people have a four inch forehead and what are they gonna do? It looks too short. So this you could snip there and wear it as bangs behind the ears. I love that look. <laughs> uh, and she weighs just 2.89 ounces. Density wise, medium density, definitely permatease, giving you the shape, hiding the wefting. And let's talk about the color, chocolate frost rooted. Let's see, this kind of reminds me of a Caramel Kiss in Aesthetica. And these bangs, again, there's a little box hair. It, the tough part about shipping a wig with bangs is sometimes you get this box hair. And I forgot to mention, you don't have to go right to steaming. You can try doing a cold soak or a wash and letting it hang to dry upside down. Sometimes that will fix it. So uh, there's many options for fixing it. All right. Uh, let's talk about the color. The color Chocolate Frost Rooted is Shadowed Roots on Dark Chocolate with Caramel Cream Highlights. So you can see the darker roots, again, hiding the fact that you don't see a part, and you see that highlighting there. And the beauty of the bangs is that it is a basic front, so you do have a stark line, but with the bangs, you don't see it, even if you wear them like that, and certainly if you wear them down. All right, let me give her a spin. I'll pull it all out so you can see. And I did have somebody, I believe it was Margaret, ask me, can you please let us know when there are other colors available in a style? All of these styles have other colors available. So if you just head over to franniesair.com and I will link these wigs below. You can even click on the link in the description and it'll take you to the specific wig. All the colors will be listed to the right. 
If any of the colors are out of stock right now, there will be a line through it. You won't be able to add it to the cart, but you can add yourself to the wait list. And the way our system works is as soon as it's back in stock, we run inventory very regularly. As soon as it's back in stock, you'll be notified and then you can order it then. Okay, let me try the glasses on. Definitely feel it under the ear tabs, probably because it is snug and over the ear tabs, no problem. Okay, let's take a walk through the house. Take a look at her cap. There we go. So all of these have been basic cap wigs, and like I said, I didn't choose these wigs in any particular order. I really just grabbed five off the top of the pile. So, all right. So here you go. It's basic. You have permatease, fabric ear tabs with the hair spliced in, open wefting, extended nape with the closures there and not much room to get bigger. Okay, that is Reese in Chocolate Frost Rooted. Okay, now this is a bob <laughs> in my mind. This is Meadow in Desert Sand Rooted and Meadow normally sells for $225 and she's on sale for $133.70. She's a simple bob with a bang here. You can see, I'll show you the bang. It's a little bit long on me. And again, I'd probably snip the bangs, put her behind my ears. A cute, elegant style. Could wear it to work. You could dress her up. Uh, she's described as, it better be a bob. <laughs> the straight, ready-to-wear wig is a short layered bob with well-balanced fringe to give you that natural movement look. She's machine made with adjustable tabs in the back nape area. And again, she's a basic wig. I don't know if I was trying to pick out basic wigs or if I was just looking at the styles. Uh, but in any case, that's reflected in the price, which is nice. And I did choose a rooted color to hide the fact that you can't see the scalp in the part and things with bangs to hide the fact that you don't have a lace front there. Okay, so the crown is 5.9 inches, the nape 2.4 inches, the fringe 3.9. So this is one of their shorter fringes, but still I would need to snip. Um, and she weighs just 2.6 ounces. Medium density, these all seem to be medium density. Definitely permatease here. But again, permatease does not bother me. I know some people are dead set against it, but to me, when it adds to the shape, and because I've always had such thin hair and difficulty getting that shape in my styles, I just love having the shape. Uh, so it's, it really depends on what you like, but I like to tell you if there's permatease or not. Um, as far as the color goes, she is, what did I say? Desert Sand Rooted, which is a warm blonde blended with a cool blonde and a brown root tone with a soft sandy shade base. And to me, she even looks reddish, auburnish, I would say, which is not mentioned in the color, but it's definitely a warm color. You can see that. All right, I'm gonna spin for you. Okay, and like I said, I would probably put her behind my ears like this, adorable. All right, let me put the glasses on, under the ear tabs, not bad. And she's fitting snugly, again, the same Noriko fit is what I would say. And over the ear tabs, don't feel it at all. And I don't think they mentioned that this comes in a larger size. Let me see here. Now, it just looks like it comes in an average. I don't see a large. And on the website, if you would like to know which wigs come in which sizes, there are filters along the left-hand side 
when you go to a brand or to shop all and you can click on length, texture, size, all different things to filter out and look at the wigs that would interest you most. All right, let's take a tour through the house. So let's take a look at the cap. When the wigs are snug or fitting, they take my wig grip right off with it. Okay, again, basic cap. Permatease. Ear tabs, hair spliced in. The, it's not an extended nape, this one's just a regular. With the bra, strap closures, and they're all the way to the end there already. These would definitely fit a petite girl because you can make it tighter. I do not need it tighter. And then open wefting. Okay, so that is Meadow. Kind of reminds me of Ellen in Aesthetica, the basic bob with the bang. And that's Aesthetica's number one bestseller. And she's in the color Desert Sand Rooted. Oh my goodness, I was so excited to see this in the pile. Like I said, I just took the top five off. This is Jackson, and I have to say, from the time that I started looking at wigs, I was always looking at Jackson and thinking, oh, I love that style. And now, trying it on, I'm going to say it reminds me of Avery by Tressalore, which is now being discontinued, and I know people are racing to get the colors that are left. Uh, so... If your color's gone over there, I would say to check this one out. Of course, if you have a large size head, this one doesn't feel as tight, but I still don't think it would fit a large size head. I'll see if it comes in a large, but I don't think so. Yeah, I don't see that here. No. Okay, so anyway, this is Jackson, and she is in the color Strawberry Swirl. And this is a really unique color because it combines a red with a platinum blonde. So it's warm and cool at the same time. Uh, but first let's talk about the, the price actually. Let's talk about the price first. She's normally $267. Right now she's $158.90. And she's described as a mid-length synthetic wig. Again, to me this is longer than mid-length on me. I don't know. Uh, let me look at the model here. Looks about the same on the model on this one. I just love how this falls around the face. Very feminine. Okay, um, the straight ready to wear wig is a voluminous sleek shoulder length style. This style features flattering face framing layers. Jackson is machine made with adjustable tabs in the back nape area to allow a more comfortable fit. So every wig I did today, not purposely, uh, is a basic wig, so they're going to be more affordable, and um, they all had a nice something in the front to hide the fact that there's no lace, and this one does not have rooting, so you can see there, and it does have permatease. I can definitely feel permatease here, and that's what gives it this shape and hides the wefting. Um, Density-wise, I'm going to say this is on the heavier side of medium. This is a fairly dense wig. It, it gives you that Thick, healthy hair look, like you just have great hair. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about the measurements. The crown is 9.1 inches. The nape, 8.3 inches. Hope you can see that there. Um, the fringe, 6.9 inches, so that's long. And I suppose you could cut a bang into it if you wanted to have it with a bang. For me, I wouldn't because I just like this layer here. I think it looks really pretty. Um, and she weighs 4.27 ounces, which is actually lighter than I thought she would be. And she's longer, but she has kind of like that shaggy look that I look for with the ends thinner, you know, really pretty. Okay, the color Strawberry Swirl is described as tipped medium auburn, with platinum blonde highlights. So there, you can see the auburn and the platinum blonde. I think it's such a unique color. I really like it. All right, I'm gonna spin for you. It 
If you're looking for a low density wig, this is not it. I'm going to tell you that right now. This has hair. I like the look of it, but it's not low density. I just wanted to let you know that. All right, so let's put the glasses on underneath. Definitely feel it. Over top, not an issue. And the cap fit, just like all the others, is on the snugger side. I'm a petite to average. Um, I would say at most this goes to average. For you girls with a larger head, this is not really an option. Okay, let's take the tour. So let's take a look at the cap on Jackson. It's so funny that they were all basic. I really did not plan this. So here you go, basic cap. At least this one's not black, so you can see it. You have permatease in here. It's like that lace fabric material, not particularly soft, but it didn't bother me. Uh, hair spliced in, open wefting, regular nape, and you can see here the, the adjusters, no room to get bigger, plenty of room to get smaller. Okay, so that is Jackson in Strawberry Swirl. Okay, so there you have it, five Noriko wigs, all basic caps, and all on sale right now, so make sure you check out the sales over at Franny'sHair.com. There are many going on. Also, if you have any questions about these wigs or anything really, come over to Franny's Hair, our private Facebook group. I'm there to answer questions. V is there. Our group experts are there. And we have so many experienced wig wearers there that are happy to support you and answer your questions. Coming up, I have a video where I actually had a customer come to my house. She lived in the area and she wanted to know how to figure out what wig would work for her. So we sat down and we had a little try on session. It was a lot of fun. I'm in the midst of editing that video now, so that's gonna be coming up soon. So stay tuned for that. And there's gonna be a lot of holiday fun coming up. As always, thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate it. Remember to make it your own and I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.